Each island has different cities, and each city has different downsides, different problems. Yes, the experience can really blow your mind. The first problem that you might experience. Welcome, welcome to, to our, our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. My name is Asmi. It's me, Roger. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Roger and Asmi Vlogs. So today's subject, the worst experience. Before we start, again, salamat sa inyong pagigugma o pagsuporta sa among channel. Thank you so much for your love and support, guys. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell for new uploads or new videos. So what are we talking about? So for today's video is all about preparation and coming here in the Philippines or retiring in the Philippines. Yes, because as we all know guys, you're dreaming of the Philippines as a, a tropical paradise. You would always think that Philippines is always having beautiful beach, the weather is nice, but what is it like to live here in the Philippines? Yes, and they mostly know about good stuff, beautiful uh, destinations in the Philippines, but foreigners, they do not know what are those things that they might experience in the Philippines. Yes, what is the downside of the Philippines? So if you would retire here, of course, it's quite confusing because we're talking about more than 7,000 islands. And each island has different cities. And each city has different downsides. Different problems. Yes. So how would you choose the perfect location for you? You've done your research. You watch a lot of videos. They don't really provide the specific information you need. It's way different if you come here and stay here. The experience can really blow your mind. Absolutely. The first problem that you might experience is having brownouts or blackouts in that specific area. And how to know that if how is the blackout in that specific area? So you have to ask the locals. So you have to visit that place and ask the person or the people in that area. Yes, because knowing or asking the locals, you would really know how many times does brown out there or blackouts or what are the problems there. So here in the Philippines, brown out is quite common especially in small cities because they only have one provider or it's one source of yes. um, electricity next one is the water yes yeah, so water here sometimes you would definitely experience that there's no water even even just a small amount of water no Sometimes you would experience it for a whole day or sometimes it's two, three hours. So that, those are the types of problems that you would really encounter. And mind you, that's the reason why we have big containers here. Yes, the technique there, if you are in a place where you encounter no water, so then please have a big container in order for you to store water. Yes, and try to just turn on your faucet. Try to just tweak it, just let it open. Because maybe the water would run in a specific time, like early in the morning, about 3 a.m. till 4. At least that your container, when you wake up, it's already full. So true. The next one is, this is really important and a problem which is really hard for you to experience and you have to research if this place is prone to typhoons and earthquakes yes if they're in in the area of the fault line because once they're in the area of the fault line they would experience earthquakes 
but that's just rare. There are instances that there are areas, even though that they're not in the fault line, they sometimes experience earthquakes. But that's the reason why you need to do your research and ask the locals, when was the last time you experienced earthquakes and typhoons? True. And uh, other problem that you may also experience when you are in the Philippines is the floods. For sure, the, the worst experience or you may experience because having floods is really difficult. You can go other places. It's also dangerous. True. It's really dangerous too. You need to know this guys, the Philippines has poor drainage. And that's the reason why there are severe floods. Even though in the city, you would really encounter that. Even though that you just went to the mall and there is rain. Even though that the, the rain is not really that hard but it create flood yeah because they have poor drainage and like for example in some places of cebu city they experience floods right now even like areas in the city center in Cologne area in Cebu, like we experience that there's just a little bit of rain and then everything is already flooded. You cannot walk in the streets. Like you need to put a, a plastic on your shoes because you didn't you didn't realize. Oh, okay, there's already flood. Yeah, and as a vlogger. We cannot really recommend you a place to stay or live. It's because we've never been there and you have to really stay in that place for you to experience if this place is okay for you or not. Yes, we have different perspective. We, we have different preferences. So what if that place, we try to recommend you that and you didn't, you didn't like it? So... And that's the reason why you, we always advise you or recommend you to come here, visit the Philippines, visit the place that you, you're really curious to know. Because as you all know, guys, every island is unique and every island has its own problems. Yeah, that's correct. And even here in San Carlos, we don't want to recommend this city is because we have uh, big downside here in San Carlos. First is you will encounter massive brownouts or blackouts and also water. So that's why if you are interested to visit here in, in San Carlos, it's up to you. Yes, because there are sometimes guys that there is no electricity and there's no water here. So it's really bad. You would really experience that, and like they have a pay Facebook page that sometimes they cannot update. The they they don't really notify in advance. Sometimes they would notify if the consumers that already experienced the brownout after two hours <laughs> they would notify. So it's really late. Correct. I think. That will be pretty much about it. Thank you so much for watching till the end. And we hope to see you in our next vlog. Bye! Bye.